Oh, good morning and welcome back to our final fabulous segment of our Thanksgiving edition here on City Line. You know, we have the most talented people who touch this show. Um, I am so grateful for every person that makes a decision about how we give information to our community. And I have one of them on the comfy couch with me today and it just tickles me pink. Please join me in welcoming Dan Strothman. You are a TV Tacoma senior producer. Hey, who's running the show if you're here? <laughs> Uh, Cheryl took over on cameras. All family. right. Okay. Well, happy Thanksgiving, Mike. <laughs> Thank friend. you. Same to you. So let's talk about what does Thanksgiving look like at your house? So we're actually going to my mom's and it's going to be a big Thanksgiving. It's going to be my wife, her dad, her brother, my sister, her husband, plus my aunt and another aunt and my cousins. And it's going to be fantastic. You got to take some poinsettias with you. I should. Yeah, you should. I'll do now, that. Now, okay, so do you have any people that have special dietary requirements in your family? That's a big family. We do. Well, I myself am lactose intolerant. Okay. And so I can't have any of the cheesecakes and things. No. Uh, my sister's actually a vegan. Oh, my. But she's also a fabulous cook. And she makes vegan sides to go with our turkey. And honestly, I'm not a vegan, but I will choose her vegan sides over... The other stuff. Okay. That's uh, how good it so, is. So um, what time is dinner? <laughs> I think it's about three. Okay, I'll be over. <laughs> so you produce an amazing show that I love to watch. Um, I grew up uh, watching re re reruns, but this is more of a rewind, and it's called Destiny City Rewind. Rewind. Yeah. Let's play um, the, the teaser, and let's talk about the new episode that you've put together, Dan. Great. So this is a holiday episode, and uh, I went back through the archives, and I found this one right here is about the Christmas tree lighting from 1991, and they actually get the tree from JBLM. Wow. And this is also from 1991. This is one of the uh, earlier zoo light things, which is great to watch, and it's amazing to see how much it's grown over the years. Yes. This right here is a piece that Dale Chihuly did in 1995 called neon and ice and what he did was he created these sculptures with neon and encased them in ice and what was fascinating was as the ice melted changed and this is a compilation of gift of music which is a shows that tv tacoma did of these local choirs in the late 90s and then finally we're going to have a behind the scenes look at the nutcracker that the um, goes on here with the tacoma ballet that dave gordon who recently retired he put this together in 2010 and it's fascinating to see the behind the scenes stuff and it's really cute. I think people are gonna really love it. I love this. So why did you decide? Because I mean, I, I often wonder as you go through all the archives, how do you decide to put something where? So why did you decide to make this episode all about Tacoma's holiday traditions? Well, I just found through digging through the archives that there was a bunch of stuff that we'd done covering the holiday yeah. traditions. And I thought, let me just put them all together in one show. Each show that I do for Destiny City Rewind, I like to have a different theme. Like I did one on Cheney Stadium. I did one on the Summer Outdoor Festival. So I thought, tis the season, we might as well do a holiday. Absolutely. Holiday one. And you know, and I, I love that you have all those images that we don't see currently uh, anymore in terms of making a holiday memory. Um, we have a video uh, that uh, is the Chihuly Neon um, um, part of that. Tell us what we're going to see and we're going to listen to it. Yeah, so this is the piece they put together. Um, you can hear it right now. This is just incredible. And the thought that you can't save it and you can't touch it. It's just like music. It just exists for as long as you see it. The project is really about uh, transparency, translucency, um, it's uh, about mystery and magic, it's about um, ice and fire, it's about a lot of things and I was it's been a, uh, a pleasure to be able to do this for the city of Tacoma. Yeah, so um, it's we can keep watching this but um, it was great to hear from Dale Chihuly. I mean, everyone from Tacoma knows who he is. Absolutely. And to hear him describe his process is fascinating. Get this kid loved it. Look at this kid. This kid probably is now like 40. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Wow. I, my big question is, what happened to the neon? So the way that this that it was set up was um, he put the neon sculptures and then he encased them in ice. Yeah. And then as the exhibit went on, the ice melted and sort of cha it, it changed, you know. So like it, over the course, I don't know exactly how long the exhibit went on, but the sculptures actually, when they melted, they became different. They looked different. So. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And like you said, you know, Chihuly is uh, Tacoma's favorite son. There it is. So what's it like for you down in that basement where it's dark and you can hear the wind whistling? No. Uh, and you spend a year digging through archives and putting these episodes together. Do you ever feel old? <laughs> <laughs> Walking up and down the stairs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But what's it like? How, how do you decide, Dan? I mean, because there are things that you have to say, don't go in. Mm -hmm. Well, what I've been doing is I have so much stuff, and I've decided to make each show a different theme. So I knew, like, I saw this stuff early in the year, and I said, I'm going to remember this for the holidays. And um, it's fascinating. And one of the things, so my family's from Tacoma. Yes. And one of the fascinating things for me is going through the archive is I have seen not one, but two different videos <laughs> with my uncle and my aunt and my cousin. They were doing a Fort Nisqually <laughs> a reenactment back in like the 80s. And then my uncle was, he's a historian. And so he was also on one of those big ships. Yes. So it's, it's all ships. Yeah. So I think I might have to do a full episode just do. on my uh, un uncle and aunt. <laughs> let's let's let, let's do the Dan Strothman family rewind. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're actually the McDonald family. It's on my mother's side. So McDonald City rewind or something like that. Oh, I love that. <laughs> you know, that is that's fabulous. So what's what what's on tap for next year in terms of New Year celebration? Well, that's the thing. You never know. If you can look at this right here. So it? Cheryl, our arch archivist, this was in my mailbox this morning. This is a brand new hard drive of digitized video that I haven't even seen yet. Oh my gosh. So yeah, so after Thanksgiving and you know the holidays, I'll be looking at this and seeing what to put together. I know for sure this next year I want to do um we've got a lot of great historic video of when they renovated Union Station. Yes. Um, and that's actually an anniversary, and they're actually renovating it again right now. Yes, they are. Um, and there, I also have some really good stuff about uh, the UW Tacoma. Oh, my God. And so we, you can see, I mean, that play, people that maybe weren't living here before UW Tacoma, it was kind of just barren. It was a it lot was. of warehouses. It, it's incredible how much that UW Tacoma has changed that part of downtown. It's just oh, fascinating. Yeah, it, it is a whole, whole different energy. Mm -hmm. I, I can't thank you enough for uh, keeping alive that phrase, if we forget history, we're doomed to repeat it. Yes. And it, helping us understand what we do and do not want to repeat. So as always, I love working with you and happy Thanksgiving. Likewise, thanks to you. Have a good one. You too. That wraps up another Thanksgiving special here on City Line. It is always a pleasure and a privilege to be in your home. And I am especially grateful for everybody here who makes this happen on a weekly basis. Go out there, be a part of the tapestry, pay it forward. And when you get back, we'll see you right here on City Line. Happy